Alright guys, um, 16.5, which some of us may remember as 14.5. A lot of thrusters and a lot of burpees. Um, so I just want to talk real quickly about breaking down the, um, the, the rep scheme. So when you look at 21, 18, 15, 12, 9, 6, 3, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of volume overall. Um, and mentally it can be kind of daunting as far as getting into the first two rounds. You, you can almost get almost mentally broken. Um, the biggest thing for me personally that I always try to keep in mind when I've done this workout in the past is just remember, once you get through the round of 15, you're past halfway. So for example, six thrusters into the round of 15, you've already gotten half the work done. A uh, couple suggestions that I would um, you know, maybe recommend as far as pacing this workout out. Um, if you're not super strong in the thrusters, plan on breaking them up early, um, especially through the first round. Think of the first three rounds as really getting through the workout as a, a buy-in, right? Keep moving. Don't get to a point where you've gone to a failure and you can't pick the bar up or you can't thrust out after a thruster. And when you start getting into these lower rep teams, just get through them, right? You're, you're going to be glad it's almost over, right? So just dig deep and finish hard and finish strong. So for the next sets of maybe 12, go six or fours if you have to. Um, maybe try to hang on for the nine, six, and three. Um, burpees, just get down, get up. So um, real quick, I just want to throw in a couple little things to think about um, stretching and, and as a dynamic workout or dynamic warm up. Um, I had a few people ask about what should they warm up and how should they warm up. Um, my suggestion is let's just stick to basic um, movements, right? So a lot of the same stretches that we do in class, um, you know, Samson, in-step lunge, um, inch worm, which I'll demonstrate in a second. But before you do that stuff, hop on a rower, hop on a bike, get your heart rate up. Um, if you have any kind of specific mobility you gotta work on, whether it be shoulder for the rack position, or the overhead position, or the hips, or the ankles for the squat. Um, and just a quick little demonstration on those, those movements. What we'll do is uh, turn off the Samson. I think we've gotta get those knees up for our burpees. So big knee squeeze, big step. Come on down inside, find some tight corners. Go reach in step into the next. We continue, that's our in-step lunge. The Samson lunge, open up the front of the hips, knees down, push up, reach over. Right? We're trying to lengthen out that side. Um, on the inchworm, right? as we're going through the inchworm, think about the burpee. Right? If you have a hard time jumping your feet up and landing, we need to open up a little bit of that cost of your chain. So think about hips up, push those feet, walk it forward. Don't compromise your knees, don't, bend, don't come off the hands. Go as far as you can, and each rep, we want to try to go a little bit further each time. So we're trying to increase our range of motion as we increase our core temperature. When we think about the burpees too, just a quick little strategy as far as reps and uh, keeping a, a steady pace. Get down, step to the bar, two feet take off, two feet land. Get down. Into it. Those few stretches that we did before is gonna help um, open you up so that way when you go to the step, you're not blowing up your legs and your hamstrings um, on the burpees, which will potentially down the road affect your thrusters, okay? So good luck, have fun, make sure you warm up. Mobilize, it's a long one.